Welcome to lecture 8. In this video, we're going to create the following data visualization, which is inspired by the box plot that we created earlier using Plotly. Here, we put the current value of the air temperature in its statistical context to see if the values that we see are normal or suspicious. We do this by drawing the current value, seen here as a black circle, between the minimum and the maximum value. We also show the interquartile range, which is the range where 50% of all data points reside. Then we also show the median and the outlier limit. Values should rarely go beyond the outlier limit. If this happens, the value might be suspicious, and something might be going on. In this case, the current value is lower than we would expect, but is still not suspicious. What are the steps for creating this data visualization? First, we need to compute all kinds of statistical quantities, such as the minimum, maximum, and the interquartile range. Then we have the usual scaling functions, the x-axis, and then we need to draw all kinds of graphical elements, such as the outer box, the interquartile range box, and outlier lines. We also draw the current value point as a black circle and add several labels. Like usual, we draw all the elements into an SVG container. In the main.js file, we will now call the boxplot.plot function, which looks relatively simple to the previous one because we only have air temperature as a value. In boxplot.js, we define the function plot. By now you should be a bit familiar with how we define the plot function. Here we first compute summary statistics that we use for the interquartile range box. We use D3 to sort the data points so that all the low air temperatures are first in the list and the highest air temperature will be at the end of the list. We then use the quantile function to get Q1, which is the value below which 25% of the data points are. The median is defined as exactly the central point of our data set. So we use quantile at 50%. 3 is the value below which 75% of the data points are. With this we can define the interquantile range by taking the difference of Q3 and Q1. Getting the minimum and maximum value is relatively easy. And then we need to define the outlier limits. There is no single definition for an outlier limit, but one common way of doing it is shown here. Using the max and the min function, we make sure that the outlier limit is never above or below the minimum and maximum value. Like in the other plots, we define the scaling function for the x value, and we can plot the x axis directly into the SVG container. Then we draw the outer rectangle box, the width of which will be the x of the maximum minus the x of the minimum value, of course. The inner colored box indicating the interquartile range will be a blue box where the width is defined by the Q3 and Q1 values. Then we need to draw the vertical lines for the outliers and the median. You see here that we use the three values in the list and give it to the three as if it is a new data set. And then for each value in this data set, we append a line to the graph. These are the three vertical lines. Then we draw a circle indicating the current value. Lastly, we append two text labels indicating the air temperature and the current value. All that's left is adding the SVG to our graph container. The final result will then look like this.